and welcome back to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we will be discussing next problem scenario for the CCA 159 uh, Cloudera Data Analyst exam. So, in this problem scenario, we have to create a table. Table name is Hadoop Exam Stock, and the column values is Exchange is the name of the exchange where the stock is being traded. What is the symbol of the uh, stock and uh, closing date? and the closing price kind of thing this is very regular market data for the stock market so you need to store it so this is the insert statement which is provided here you have to load this data directly using the insert statement so you can copy paste from here and use this data okay and then once you are done with this creating the table and inserting the data you have to write a query to compute the moving average for the three days span three days span means like uh, suppose uh, give me an example here suppose you are at here at this line number uh, second okay the second line so if you have to calculate the moving average for three days span means you have to consider previous row current row and following rows and then you have to calculate the moving average for this three rows similarly if you are at the third rows then you have to consider this three rows to moving average if you are at the fourth row you have to consider this three rows kind of thing and then what is the next uh, uh, statement is like write a query to compute the cumul cumulative moving average from the earliest data up to the value of each day means like all the previous rows you have to consider suppose you are at this line so while calculating the moving average you have to consider this three line plus this fourth line okay wherever you do if you are on fifth line you have to calculate this moving hours if you are at this line you have to consider this kind of thing so continuously your moving hours value would keep changing as you are introducing new row in this calculation correct for so we will be seeing this result so now let's create a table as this is the create statement yeah i'm just copying here and we will be creating the table which is the name of the table is hadoop exam stock the table is created now select this from this obviously no data in this table sorry correct uh, so there should not be any result okay now let's move to the next like uh, okay so sorry yeah, we have to first insert statement we have to fire so I'll use this all content and insert this similarly you can use this insert statement so here this is inserting the value so there are multiple ways to insert the record I have written separate insert statement you can write single statement as an insert statement then values for each statement so this is different syntax okay right now focus on this syntax and then uh, write a select query now then you can see the data uh, here correct now just what exactly next it is we have to write the query so there is a function so there is a function uh, which is like name average which is average to calculate the average but we have to understand the partition by class and then order by class when you are calculating the moving average and this values rows between one preceding and one following so like one is the preceding row okay if you are here so one is the preceding row this is preceding row and this is the following row correct so we'll be considering this while calculating the moving errors so that is very simple query and you need to understand this clause partition by and order by clause so we'll be soon launching a hive training so you must be able to uh, understand this thing okay so now you can see the for each stock we have moving average so this is moving average first 1150 then 1136 so most of the site you have seen the like graph of the like stock price kind of thing so this is the way they show this kind of uh, moving average or kind of thing 
so you can use this kind of analytical functions for each three days spent if you want to calculate the moving average similarly uh, in the next statement they are saying uh, uh, we have also explained here in the notes you can read this and uh, get this and if we are using the preceding rows unbounded preceding rows so like from starting to there is no limit as such if you are at this row so it will consider all the rows for from this above this row and this current row while calculating the moving errors correct so this is the query just same syntax so everything is same just partition uh, this uh, rows between clause would be changed here okay so this is the query which we will be running here So now this is the moving average value we have been calculated. So that's all about this problem scenario. Thanks, thanks for watching. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Thank you.